Hello students, welcome back. Let's solve the next question. A copper wire has a diameter of 0.2 millimeter and resistivity of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter. What will be the length of the wire to make its resistance 14 ohm? How much does the resistance change if the diameter of the wire is doubled? Alright, so here we have a copper wire whose diameter is given and its resistivity is given. So we'll have to find out the length of that wire which will give it a resistance of 14 ohm. Also, how much does the resistance change if the diameter of the wire is doubled? So we'll have to find out what will be the change in the value of resistance if we double the diameter of that wire. Alright, so first let's write down what all are given. The resistance of the wire is given as 14 ohm. The diameter of the wire is given as 0.2 millimeter. So, which is 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter because 1 millimeter is 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Then we have the resistivity is given as 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter. We will have to find out the length. So, we know the formula for resistance is given by R is equal to rho L by A which implies L will be R into A by rho. So, we have the resistance, we have the resistivity. We will have to find out the area first. Now, let us find out the area. Now, area of the wire is given by pi R square. Here, we do not have the radius, rather we are given the diameter. So, we know that the radius is half of the diameter. So, it will be D by 2 whole square which is pi d square by 4. Now, we got the diameter over here as 0 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole square. So, that will be pi by 4 into this 0 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole square, which will be 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. I am writing it in the simplest possible way for you all to understand. So, it will be pi by 4 into 2 by 10 into 2 by 10 into 1 by 10 to the power plus 3 into 1 by 10 to the power plus 3. Alright. So, it will be 2, 2 cancels 4. So, it will be pi by 10 to the power 8. Alright. So, it will be 22 by 7 into 1 by 10 to the power plus 8. So, our area will be 22 by 7 into 10 to the power 8 meter square. So, using this area, we will substitute the value in this equation number 1. So, L will be resistance is given as 14 ohm into area we got it as 22 by 7 into 10 to the power plus 8 and the resistivity rho is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 8. So, which will be 14 into 22 by 7 into 1.6 into this 10 to the power 8 I write here. This 10 to the power 8, when it goes to the numerator, it will be 10 to the power plus 8. So, 10 to the power 8, 10 to the power 8 gets cancelled over here. So, now it comes to be L is 14 into 22 by this 1.6. I can write it as 16 by 10 and this 10 goes to the numerator. So, it is 10 into 7. So, it is 7 to the 14, 2, 8 the 16. Then this is 2, 4 is 8, 2, 11. So, it is 110 by 4 which is 27.5 meter. So, the length of the wire which we will be needing to make it a resistance of 14 ohm is 27.5 meter. So, this should be your answer to this question. Now, let us solve the second part of the question that is how much does the resistance change if the diameter of the wire is doubled? That means we are changing only the diameter of the wire. The length of the wire remains the same. The material of the wire remains the same. So, the resistivity remains constant. Now, we will find out what will be the change in resistance if the diameter is doubled. So, let us write down the formula for resistance. 
So resistance is given by R is equal to rho L by A, which is rho L by what is area? That is pi R square. That is equal to rho L by pi because we don't have the radius, rather we have the diameter. So I write here d by 2 whole square, which is rho L by pi d square by 4. Let this be equation 1. So now this is the value of the resistance in terms of the diameter of the wire. Now let R dash be the new resistance. and A dash be the new area. So our R dash will be rho L by A dash. Length remains the same only we are doubling the diameter that is we are doubling the thickness of the wire. So it will be rho L by what is A dash? A dash is pi 2D by 2 whole square because the diameter we are doubling. So it becomes 2 times d by 2 whole square which is rho L by pi into 2 square is 4 d square by 4. Okay. So here we will not cancel these two 4 rather I will take out this 4 outside. So we get r dash is equal to 1 by 4 rho L by pi d square by 4. So now what is this rho L pi d square by 4? It is nothing but equation 1 which is original resistance of the wire because here we had got the resistance in terms of diameter of the wire as rho L by pi d square by 4. So this is the value of the original resistance of the wire in terms of diameter. So here I will substitute this value over here. So it becomes 1 by 4 r. So our new r dash is r by 4. So this is your answer. New resistance becomes one fourth of the original if the diameter of the wire is doubled. I hope you have understood the solution to this question. If you like the video please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I have shared the link of the playlist in the description box. I am sure it will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.